world. I believe we have shifted into an alternate reality completely. Everything is fucking different. The way people act, the way people perceive reality, the way people talk, the way people react to things is completely fucking different to, to before 2012. And it's not just me who's saying this. People would say, people might be watching this and thinking, oh, this guy's fucking insane and he's got some problems. But I'm not the only fucking one who thinks this. There has been such significant changes. Like, people can't even have conversations with each other anymore. Like, seriously, people are so engrossed in their technology and all this shit that you could say that that's just, you know. But since 2012 onwards, me personally, physically, emotionally, mentally, I felt different completely. I, I, I felt like I'm not in the same universe that I was previously. I know this sounds fucking insane, but there is so much evidence to back it up. With all these little Mandela effects and all these little significant changes that are occurring every single fucking day, like, like that Star Wars uh, Mandela effect blown my fucking mind. Like, when I was a kid, when I was a child, I watched that film fucking hundreds of fucking times, hundreds of times, seriously, and I clearly, clearly, clearly fucking remember him saying, Luke, I am your father. I really, really remember him saying that. But apparently now he says, no, I am your father. Which makes absolutely no fucking sense whatsoever. That TV program, Sex in the City. I significantly remember that being Sex in the City. And there's actually residue from the old alternate reality that we shifted from. There's videos on YouTube of when that TV program uh, first got uh, like nominated for some sort of fucking award or some shit. And um, the people saying sex in the city repeatedly. But now, according to history and according to this reality that we live in, it is sex and the city. I, I do not remember that one bit. And I can't be the only fucking person that remembers that. Like, seriously, that is insane. That is insane. And you got like high level fucking like quantum physics scientists saying that before this, we was on the Sagittarius arm. Now we're like on the other fucking side of the you know, uh, the other side of the Milky Way, which is just fucking insane. Like there's there's loads of videos of people saying we're on the Sagittarius arm, but if you look now and research it, we're not on the Sagittarius arm at all. We're 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 like on the other fucking side of the the Milky Way, which is like mind boggling as well. Is why would these people be saying we was on the Sagittarius arm if in fact we was never there? Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever like i was fucking blown away i was like holy shit seriously some fucking crazy shit's going on here like and i and it's not just me it's it's not just me like before like some people you'd, you'd make a video like this and people would be like oh you're fucking crazy but a lot of people are relating to this now and a lot of people are seeing these things so yeah i don't know what the fuck is happening but something is seriously happening um the only thing I can suggest for you all to do is to continue doing research and continue developing skills to, you know, awaken yourself. But this is this is crazy, seriously. I mean, that, that, that film with Tom Hanks in it where a couple of months ago, he, he I can't remember the film, but he said a couple of months ago when I was doing research on the Mandela Effect, because I, I, I wasn't, I, I never knew about the Mandela Effect till about last year. I found it by accident, and I was like, holy shit, this shit is interesting. The Mandela Effect was, before it was, Houston, we have a problem. But it changed to, Houston, we've had a problem. Right? That was it. That was, that was it. Complete history was, Houston, we've had a problem. It was never, Houston, we have a problem. Now, like, from today, it is fucking changed back to, Houston, we have a problem. And I'm not, we're not, people that are experiencing this, I'm not fucking crazy because I clearly remember like, what, like three, four months ago, it was Houston, we, we've we had a problem. And that was a big Mandela effect. And now it's shifted back into what it was previously, Houston, we have a problem. Mind fucking boggling. I don't understand this, seriously. And I really, really hope, because I'm really, really praying that we shift back again and the Star Wars one changes back to Luke, I am your father. Because if that happens, because so many people who have noticed that it's changed, 
if that happens and it and it shifts back into Luke, I am your father, that will that will seriously awaken some people and seriously, some people will, will be questioning what is their reality because a lot of people are questioning what the, is their reality right now, but a lot of people are still on the fence about it and still thinking maybe we're just remembering things incorrectly, but there has to be something more than this shit. Seriously, it has to be. I honestly believe that CERN in Switzerland is messing about with our reality. Because I do believe, personally, I'm really into quantum physics, and I really do believe that we are, we have like infinite realities. And I do believe that with them messing about with particles and stuff, I do believe that they can personally, I do believe that they can shift us into like alternate realities. And CERN messing about with particles, I think that they've shifted us into an alternate reality. I mean, the Volkswagen logo, man. Holy shit, seriously. Like, I clearly remember like old, like old, really, really fucking old like um, films with the Volkswagens in. I always believed that the Volkswagen logo changed. I thought it was like t joined together before, and then the modern day cars from like 2000 onwards changed, and they put the little, you know, the little line in the middle of it. But I clearly fucking remember the Volkswagen cars never having a line there. That was a big one for me personally. Um. Another thing for you to look at personally is a um, the anatomy of the human body, the skeleton, and how it's changed. Now it's a frequency thing related to the alternating shifts and different patterns of the frequency of the planet and the people on it. And that it affects how reality changes and fluctuates and how timelines can intersect. One example is that when in certain sport events, some teams play the game, they, they play the song by Queen, We Are The Champions. We are the champions, my friend. And we are the champions, we are the champions of the world. And he points more and more songs are changing so that the text is changing and more and more songs have, have changed in such a way that of the world doesn't belong there anymore, isn't there? You won't find the songs with it. And even if you buy an old vinyl record with the original of the original press, you won't hear it. And you might meet people who still remember, yeah, this text was there. But in a few in a two or three years you will not hear it, meet anyone who remembers it. You yourself might not even remember it. When you have been it's like going through a going through a divide between frequencies. Another example which is often used is what are the, the, what the what is the color of Hitler's eyes? Well, what if I'm putting a spell on the frequency and the frequency of the world is shaking up because it's trying to adjust to the reality as I am describing it. No, you've already dismissed it in your mind. Are you powerful enough to play such a spell on the global frequency? Have you ever asked yourself if there are entities which are capable of that and may be skilled at it? Now that can't be. Usually when say people say to me, no, I cannot do that, or this is not possible, or this can't be, I look into it. Now, let's look at the world today. <laughs> How can you stay sane in an insane world? You know, look, there are so many things, you know, just look at YouTube, there are thousands of videos uploaded every day. Every single video is more or less 
documenting the state of insanity of our current world and conflicting worldviews and conflicting realities and and it's like if you're watching the world crumple from within in live broadcast literally i've seen this i've documented many aspects of this myself you know mandela effect or not when we look at the world and that's my point when we look at the world of human perception we see there's something seriously wrong. Whether it's a bad or good thing, let's change the, the word wrong. We see that something is seriously out of place. You know, whether it's wrong or right, well, that's a matter of evaluation. Let's leave that up to the mainstreamers. They're perfect, they're geniuses at the defining truths. The globe that I'm looking at right now used to have an ice cap on it. It was printed onto the globe by a machine using ink. Before 2008, and I could go back 100 years before that. Let's go back two, 300 years. Fuck, 500 years. Find me the oldest globe in the world doesn't have an ice cap on it but yet in 2006 we were told that ice cap that isn't there is gonna melt so let me get this straight <clears throat> well let me get let me let me let me paint a picture here I could take my globe right now go to my next door neighbors because I guarantee she believes in global warming and I could show her my globe and be like, didn't Al Gore say that the polar cap at the North Pole, if it melted, that the world was in a lot of trouble, that New York, all the coastal cities, LA, Singapore, everywhere would be flooded, that we would have to make a new world map, that temperatures would rise and fall, that the earth might wobble. Didn't he say that? And then they'll be like, well, temperatures did rise, they did fall. I'm like, yeah, that's because your, your planet's moving, your continents have shift, shifted, and you don't even know it. They'll be like, well, the sun's in a different direction, a polar shift. I'm like, no, that's not a polar shift. That's a sun shift. That's a star shift. Maybe Al Gore and company knew this was going to happen and knew these things were going to happen, so they jumped the gun on us. Just like they are with the movie Mandela Effect coming out 2018. But here's the point of this video. And even you must think about this and ponder it. Is that all these people in 2006 when they believed in Al Gore, when you show them this globe and you ask them, well, no, you just show them the globe. And they then, right on the spot, right now, as we speak, have to make a decision. They either have to say, Oh, I guess Al Gore is wrong and join the conspiracy that global warming is just that, a conspiracy theory, theory. Or they have to learn about the Mandela effect. But there's no more safe ground for this conspiracy theory. There's no more, oh, well, um, I don't even know what they would say to this. There's no middle ground, that's the whole point of this video, is to show you guys that there are a lot of things like this. This is just one example of how there's no middle ground for a lot of these conspiracies anymore. The zombie now must choose. Did Al Gore lie to me and that's a conspiracy right there? Or what? the F is going on and then you and I enter the picture and go welcome to Mandela either way the zombies are going to wake up they have no choice they just don't know it yet okay share this with people explain this to people learn this little trend we just witnessed right now with Al Gore and how people have to pick and there's no more middle ground if you have a middle ground to run to, please let me know what it is in the comment section below. 
What's that middle ground? Explain to people how there's no more ice cap on my globe, but yet New York is still above water. You know, so many people remember that from their childhood being mirror, mirror. It's a line that's being used so, so many places elsewhere because so many people do remember it that way. So it just seems so strange that the line is actually magic mirror. Do you remember it as that? Do you remember it as mirror, mirror or magic mirror? So the first major theory behind it is that we are in alternative realities, so parallel universes, that there are a number of different universes that exist and we kind of go in and out of them. So in terms of the Mandela effect itself, the original with Mandela's death, it could be said that in alternative reality Mandela did die in the 1980s and that that reality no longer exists or that we've moved out of it. Um, I'm not entirely sure of the logistics of how that would work but there's a lot of research online into parallel universe in general and you know it does seem likely that there could be something else that exists except for this universe because you know what what makes us so special why would there only be one universe that exists so again in every one of these videos i will leave links down below i'll have created a playlist with plenty of videos that you can go and have a look at just to give you more research into it because it is so interesting and of course I can't cover everything in this video but I would definitely look up parallel universes because it does seem to have some explanation as to why we may be remembering things differently so go and check that out. It could also be that these universes are kind of merging with one another so they're getting a bit confused and some people may remember things one way, some people may remember them another because of this merging. So that's another reason as to why they could be experiencing different things. And then there is another theory which is, I would say, slightly more complex. And it's that there could be um, that the universe is trapped in malfunctioning software. Now, I'm not entirely sure how how much evidence there is for this. It seems a little bit complex and unlikely, but I'll just give you a quick summary of it. So it's the idea that we are part of a holodeck, so different people can travel between different time periods and situations, and because there may have been technical glitches, this means that some people have experienced different things, as I said before, um, so there's kind of some sort of problem with the way the world works and instead of everyone having the same memory of certain historical events things are kind of jumbled up and different people remember things differently. Now again do some research into this. It's so complex it's not something I can go into full depth about but I again will leave the links down below. I do believe that there could be parallel universes out there. I don't disregard the Mandela effect at all because it's something I find very strange, you know, when there's physical proof of it being spelt a different way or of it being a different way and then it is not. I think that just kind of shows that something may be a little bit up somewhere. Um, so I have, I, under absolute conviction, remember Hitler being in prison for seven years and released after seven years. Where he wrote Mein Kampf. Ah... Uh, I think it's my I think it's my first Mandela effect. Um, like many of you who are suffering the the same awareness, it's a really weird place to be. Like even myself, when I was first introduced to it, it was like, oh yeah, I like I remember I remember the V Dub uh, different, but the comp the company just changed the logo. So once I understood the concept of of the Mandela effect. My eyes were open. I was, I was, I was converted. The first thing that really totally converted me was the JFK footage, because I'd seen that footage like six hundred times, yeah. And the the common theory. I don't think many people have covered this in the JFK stuff. Uh, the common theory for ages was um, that the driver had shot him. So how can the driver shoot between two independent witnesses uh, in the in the middle of the stretch, Lincoln, and and live not to testify about that? <laughs> it's like uh, ridiculous. That was the thing that turned me. Um, 
And yeah, it's a sort of lonely, precarious place to be in. But please, guys, the reason I'm posting this video now, I need your comments below. Am I alone in this? Uh, has anyone else got this memory? Please let me know. Okay, blessed be. I'm going to go and have some Panadol and go to sleep.